We learned about the biodiversity, uh, slow food, presidia movement, how that could um, support our work in terms of um, re-establishing a lot of the sheep flocks back into our homestead. In the Navajo culture, we refer to them as the adepe, the sheep, because it's always been a part of our life and part of our uh, life ways. Even the sheep breed itself is, is the land steward. That's how we refer to. We refer to them as the, the, the caretakers of the land. Earlier in the 1800s, the Navajos had an abundance of Navajo Turo sheep. There were several events that happened with the Navajo Nation. We had the long walk and marches that you know took us away from the reservation. So the government and some of the soldiers and you know federal agents decided to take our sheep away from us. They burned and killed all these animals. We were finally able to return to our lands in the early 1900s. A lot of the elders, they've held on to it and then tried to revive it a little bit. The Navajo churro produces the two fibers, which is the, the guard hair and then the inner softer down wool. And it's one of the, the, the good fibers that really picks up the color of the natural um, vegetal dyes that is used in our weavings. You can make felted items, you can make the saddle blanket, you can weave a twill design, you can make very fine intricate blankets. Um, this sheep is a very sturdy animal and it's something that is um, talked about in our creation stories. That's how we're connected with them uh, spiritually. This is a traditional earthen pipe that is reserved and sometimes we smoke with the sheep so that they can be prosperous, harmonious, and also to have uh, a balanced life way. And so the sheep is also used for its meat. And so the Navajo Turtle Land Presidium, it comes in to play when it comes to the meat business. And so we have a voice on, on a global scale on, in the food system where we, we're reviving that uh, tradition, our indigenous tradition. The Navajo churro sheep increased from the 1970s when we only had less than 400 to about um, 8,000 plus. Over half of that, they're on the reservation, on the Navajo reservation. Back then it was near extinction, now it's just considered a rare breed. People can nominate a project to become a Presidia by contacting Slow Food USA or Slow Food International.